Welcome back guys! Uh, this is week 10 of my video log learn Python with Google. Uh, I moved uh, the video logs to the um, end of the week actually. I start recording the video log on Monday. Um, so it's the first thing I do uh, at the beginning of, of the week. Uh, let's get started. Uh, so last Monday uh, I started the week with a big challenge uh, because uh, it was time to uh, do the final project, uh, the final assessment uh, of the course using Python to interact with the operative system. It was a graded assessment and it was done using uh, Quick Labs, which is a platform that uses Google Cloud to spin up a virtual machine in the cloud uh, where we can log in to the remote server using SSH and then use the nano editor to write our script and complete the assessment. Uh, we use that uh, quite often during the, uh, this course, but the final assessment there was about um, a log analysis uh, using regex. This time was quite hard and difficult to complete. Uh, I started writing the first script locally on my machine uh, using my favorite IDE, Visual Studio Code. Uh, and the first script that I wrote was uh, doing part of the uh, job, but it didn't work as expected. And the problem I faced was on the type of data structure that my script used to generate the output. And it took me a while to figure out uh, how to make things work properly. Uh, but then I finally completed the assessment on the day after. Um, so uh, the requirement was to uh, extract data from a system log file, store the output uh, into a dictionary, then transform the output and store the results into a CSV file to generate two different reports uh, before uh, converting uh, and then convert the a CSV file into an HTML table um, using a script provided by Google. Uh, after So after a while, as I said, I got it. I solved the problem correctly on my local machine. But then when I moved uh, on writing the solution uh, into the lab, uh, so into the cloud using the remote server, I saw that the CSV generated uh, by the system was not sorted as expected as it was uh, on my local machine. So the script worked on my local machine. The results were sorted for both the reports properly as they should, but not in the cloud, not in the remote server. And that was quite odd. Uh, so I tried for a while, I eventually ran out of time. Uh, so I had to try a second time before uh, being able to complete the assessment. Uh, so when I uh, run out of time the first time, I wrote to the Google team uh, and asked for their support. Uh, so I've sent them my solution and asked to check uh, what was wrong because on my local machine everything worked fine and into the cloud inside the lab it didn't. Uh, the, the team uh, replied immediately. Uh, actually, after only a couple of minutes using their internal chat inside the Coursera uh, platform. And that was really cool. Um, so um, I uh, I have sent them my solution uh, and um, so they could reproduce the issue uh, and see if the, everything worked properly in, into the lab and verify that there were no bugs. Um, uh, and all everything looked fine. Uh, so um, the engineer came back to me after a couple of hours because he needed to find the solution himself and try and come out with the proper uh, solution to the lab uh, on his own and to make sure that everything was uh, working properly. And uh, <clears throat> uh, everything, as I said, looked pretty much fine. There were no bugs into the bu into the lab. So he sent me uh, back his response. He gave me a few tips to complete the uh, assessment. Uh, and here I realized that I actually did not uh, complete the entire uh, assessment because there were uh, three exercises to do before the actual challenge. 
and I did them uh, in my local environment but I, I didn't um, write back the code into the lab because I thought it was no part of the final assessment and no part of the challenge anyway so um, um, that's why probably, uh, probably the real reason I couldn't uh, complete the assessment at, at the first shot. Uh, so the engineer, the Google engineer, sent me his own uh, solution and a few screenshots to show me that everything was working properly into the lab. Uh, the only difference that I found uh, between my solution and the solution that the Google engineer sent me it was that my solution was much shorter than his solution. Uh, I wrote 50, line of, 50 lines of code to, do, to solve the challenge while the Google engineer uh, sent me a solution and it was mm, 90 uh, lines longer, nine long, uh, so 40 nine lines longer than mine. And despite it was uh, cleaner probably, uh, he, he wrote like four functions instead I wrote just two functions uh, to, do the same, to do the same thing uh, but uh, both codes, both solutions worked pretty much in the same way uh, because I tried this solution on my local machine and it worked exactly as mine uh, both of them generated the uh, two wrappers in the same way uh, so same results, both were sorted properly uh, so, um, um, looking at his, at his code, uh, I, didn't, I didn't use his code to uh, pass the challenge, but I used mine uh, because I preferred the way I wrote the solution and because I didn't want to cheat. Um, so I tried again, uh, but this time I made sure uh, that I wrote every line of code in that was uh, given inside the instruction, so even the exercises, um, and then I wrote my final solution, and uh, I was able to complete the uh, the lab successfully, and I passed the final graded assessment with 100% of score. Uh, despite the uh, CSV file uh, using my solution was not generated properly into the cloud. I didn't try its solution, but it seems its solution. The Google Engine solution uh, was sorted while mine wasn't, uh, but both worked in the same way uh, locally and they both generated the same files. Uh, that, that was weird, but anyway, uh, I'll move on and I passed the assessment and here I realized that the real problem was not about the uh, fact the, that the CSV file was not sorted, uh, but just because I didn't um, follow one of the steps into the lab from the lab instructions. So um, the course was finally completed, and as you see, I've, I have earned a new certificate, the one that you see on screen. Um, after the lab and the course was finished, uh, I started working on the final project of the course that I'm recording in Italian, uh, a Python course for beginners. And I wrote this uh, command line application that lets uh, the user and guides the user um, into the steps uh, needed to write a rap lyric. Um, so helping the user to find matching uh, rhymes uh, and I use regex and some of the others, other concepts that we studied during the course. Uh, I've also recorded two of the video logs, the week 8 and 9 of the video logs, both in the same day uh, because I skipped the recordings uh, due to the Eastern holidays. Uh, in fact, if you see these, the previous two videos and you find me a bit tired and uh, bored, probably it was because the week was quite long and heavy. Um, because the uh, previous module, the module that I studied in the week 8, was quite hard to um, 
figure out and it was quite complicated so I was tired I apologize for that um, but uh, finally uh, I started looking at another thing for the Rub Mega application which is this application command line application that helps people writing wraps uh, and um, I started looking on how to create a, a graphical user interface for the application and I will tell you more about it uh, next week on the 11th video log um, so the week just started today it's Monday as I said uh, and I plan to record the final project of my Learn Python course um, and showcase the wrap maker application that I made. Uh, make sure that you check it out. Uh, it will be um, featured in the um, final uh, lesson of the uh, course um, of the Python course for beginners in Italian but I will make an English version uh, to showcase the application in the next video log. Uh, so once I complete it, uh, after that I plan to go back to the consolidation plan and build a schedule and include inside the schedule also the readings uh, that I've got from this course that I've just completed. And that's pretty much it for the week. Uh, I'll see you next week, so next Monday. Uh, and as always, stay home, protect your family and save your ass. Cheers.